Hi, and welcome to the second video in a series of five videos in which I will share with you the latest and greatest RF power solutions we have targeting multi-market applications. My name is Jose M. Shuik, Marketing Manager for Multi-Market at Ampleon. We at Ampleon are constantly introducing brand new products to ensure business continuity and support needs for current and future wideband applications. One very popular product family are unmatched general purpose and easy to use wideband discrete amplifiers from both Aldemos and GAN technologies. Let's start with an overview of our brand new technologies for wideband discrete transistors. The Aldemos wideband discrete products are based upon the ninth generation LDMOS technology. They operate at 12, 32, and 50 volts, depending on the technology flavor used. The advanced rugged LDMOS technology, the so called ART family, with nodes supporting both 50 volt and 65 volt power supplies, is a special flavor specifically designed to withstand harshest environments of extremely rugged applications. The third generation GAN technology, the CLF3 product family, particularly shines in higher frequency applications and will replace the CLF1 family that Ampleon released a few years ago. At Ampleon, we are technology agnostic and we have R&D, packaging and applications teams working hard to offer you the best from all flavors. In this video, we will look at wideband discrete RF power solutions in LDMOS technology. And there will be dedicated videos for the GAN and extremely rugged art devices. LDMOS is a lower cost technology than GAN because LDMOS is based on 8 inch silicon wafers, while GAN uses silicon carbide wafers, which are only available in 3 to 6 inch. So let's start with an overview of our brand new wideband LDMOS transistors in ceramic and plastic packages. Air cavity ceramic packages are historically used for high power RF transistors. Eared, pulled down versions are preferred when replacement, like in service or repair, is required. Plastic packages are lower cost. The Goldwing plastic packages can use standard surface mount PCB assembly and thermal dissipation is not a problem for low power transistors. New product highlights include our next generation wideband discrete LEMOS amplifiers and drivers such as the BLF978P and the BLF974P successors to the BLF578P and BLF574. Also, the recently introduced BLP15H and 50M drivers operating at both 50V and 32V respectively, and the 12V transistors BLP5LA and 9LA, both at 55 and 25 watts. Wideband discrete transistors do not include any internal matching, they have only dies and bond wires. These devices can, can be used to make narrowband PA designs optimized for maximum power and efficiency for example, in particle accelerators. They can also be used in broadband PA designs, for example, software-defined radios and RF jamming. In this year, we released our breakthrough high-power LDMOS devices, reaching 80% efficiency and two additions to our ninth generation lineup of high-performance 50V LDMOS high-efficiency RF power transistors designed for use in ultra-high power RF power amplifiers and capable of delivering hundreds of kilowatts. The BLF978P and the BLF974P are highly efficient and have high gain characteristics. This report presents the measurement results in a demo board optimized for 500 MHz with transistors screwed down and lead soldered. During assembly, conductive 
thermal paste has been put under the transistor to ensure proper thermal connection to the mounting base plate. Leads have been bent upward to ensure proper soldering. This application demo can deliver 22 dB of gain with a drain efficiency level in the range of 71.6% at 352 MHz and 500 MHz, which are standard operating frequencies for synchrotron particle accelerators requiring 10 kW to 150 kW of RF power, which is a much higher efficiency than LDMOS competition. The BLF978P is a 1200 watts amplifier and we also released a new 500 watt device, the BLP974P, also offering power gain of 26 dB and efficiency of 76% in the frequency range of 230 to 236 MHz, which is quite impressive, as you see on the slide. The efficiency feature is extremely important in demanding tens to hundreds of kilowatt systems, but the best thermal management is paramount. Industrial and scientific applications prioritize thermal design as a critical element to reliable and effective performance. The higher efficiency transistors allow for the most cost-effective thermal dissipation schemes. Further, the utility cost for these ultra-high power systems can run into the six to seven figures of euros per year. As a result, the effective advantage, the efficiency advantage can result in a significant operational cost saving. Next, you are shown the most recent innovations on driver amplifiers with two product highlights. The wideband driver amplifiers BLP15H9S100 and BLP15MS30. These general purpose drivers operate at 32 volt and 50 volt. They are highly robust and feature a mismatch capability of 30 to 1 VSWR with a dual sided ESD protection integrated. They come in cost effective TO270 packages as a replacement for the ceramic BLF64 series that Amplion released a few years ago. They are available in straight lead and gullwing plastic packages at a lower cost and come with thermal dissipation advantages. The last slide of today's video is showing you the measurement results of the Class AB demo using a low voltage 55 watt transistor at 13.6 volt, the BLP5LA55S. The presented demo is tuned for the frequency 150 to 170 MHz. This application demo can deliver over 23 dB of gain with a drain efficiency level in the range of 74% minimum over the entire frequency range, which is a much higher efficiency than LDMOS competition as well. With brand new products constantly emerging, we continue ensuring business continuity and supporting customer needs for current and future applications. As such, we released many new products to replace popular high runners that we released a few years ago. One example was the BLF978P and the BLF974P as successors to the BLF578 and 574. All new products are based upon our ninth generation LDMOS technology and beyond, exploiting the highest quality and reliability standards from our own factories as well as qualified outside vendors. I hope you enjoyed this short update about our wideband discrete RF power solutions in LDMOS. In case you need more information, please go and check our updated website, download our short form catalog, and do not forget to subscribe to my Pleon to, to enjoy regular update and get access to the latest demos.